right, so here's uh, my progress so far. This camera work is gonna be a little weird because I'm holding the camera, not on a tripod. So here's what it originally looked like. There's a cummerbund, you got black on that side. Here is with, I would say about a, a little over a can's worth of paint. You can see these are not looking great, but they don't look terrible either. It's kind of working. This is with one coat. So you'll see the material itself really absorbs the paint. So this one over here, um, I'm going to do one coat, let it dry, do another coat, let it dry, and see if that works better. Versus down here, all I did was just soak it until it started looking the color I wanted it to look. So this is just base, base coat. And again, here's the type of paint I'm using, in case you're curious, this is the khaki color. Um, this plate here is just an extra that I have left over and I have no purpose for it. So I figured meh, might as well try this out, see if it works and let y'all know. Um, also, one of my buddies is wanting me to spray paint his plate carrier. So I wanted to test it out first on this extra one to see if it actually even worked and was worthwhile. So again, here's first steps. Um, all I did was just soak it. So I'll keep you updated. All right, so now that I have a base coat on these things, <clears throat> I'm going to attempt to use this little fishnet type thing. Uh, this is actually a laundry sack. Um, I just cut it up and I use it for a bunch of different stuff. So I'm going to use this as a pattern, see what that looks like, and then see where I want to go from there. So hope I will edit it out and right, to kind of show you. I don't like how this up here looks, but I like how that looks. So all I'm going to do is spray paint over this thing. Again, I don't like how it looks all over the place. So I'm gonna do it again. Again, that's the nice thing about spray paint. You can just spray paint as many times as you want. All right, just to show you what I'm doing, all I'm doing is literally going over it randomly and a little bit harder in some areas over to others. And hopefully it turns out fine, which it looks like it is. I'll show you a close up here in a second. All right, so let me show you what this looks like up close. There's got the tan base again there's a color it used to be it used to be black and yes i use zip ties to hold mine together um it doesn't come loose like the strings do and here is again this is just the base you can see the sleeves put a nice little coat on there you can see that hopefully fairly well um looks pretty decent from from afar now i'm going to add green to it and i'll show you how i'm going to do patterns on there all right, so I have two types of green. Uh, one is a green right here, which is kind of a really dark green. It's almost like a brown green. So I'm going to actually use this green this up here. It's the can this right here. All right, so this is something I'm going to try out. I have no idea what this is going to look like, honestly. So all I do is get some cardboard and rip it up into a whole bunch of pieces and just cover up a bunch of random spots and leave random holes and shapes all over the place. So I'm going to spray paint over that and see what it looks like. All right, so that's what it looked like afterwards. Eh, it looks okay, kind of looks a little blotchy. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray a light coating of green everywhere and then another light coating of brown, just kind of even it out some. All right, so I'll show you up close in a second, but the last thing it is, I went ahead and just covered that whole thing with the mesh net again, then went over it with this light brown here, and I think it looks significantly better. So I'll show you that here in a little bit, but I'm gonna finish doing these other ones and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so these other ones down here, I just sprayed it with green. I didn't really feel like doing the cardboard thing. It didn't work all that well. Uh, so I just spray painted it randomly. Now I'm gonna go over it one more time with this very light brown to kind of give it that snake skin pattern in random spots and then I'll be done. All right, so now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I'm done. Again, I just sprayed some green, sprayed some more brown, sprayed some more green, sprayed some more brown. Here's what the cummerbunds look like. I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, to the camera, it doesn't look nearly as green as it actually is. Maybe that shows up a little bit better. You can see it's kind of green and brown. Let's see, right there. It's not showing up nearly as green on the camera as it is in the in real life. But here is the back side, and there's the top. See the pattern right there. Again, on my to my eye, it's a lot greener than it actually is. The areas, uh, like right here for instance, uh, to my eye, this entire area is actually green. So it's kind of weird how this is showing up. But 
anyways so this is the final product uh, once it dries i'll show it to you maybe in a different light so you can see it's actually more green uh, than it looks like all right guys so here's the i guess proof of concept finally finished this is what it looks like when i'm done it actually came out better than i thought it would um, one of the things that i will tell you is if you're trying to do small patterns like say the snake skin it's not really going to show up all that well in here you can kind of see it a little bit in a few different places like it does show up and if I took a dark color or really light color and kind of put it on heavy, you'd see more of it. Um, but this is kind of just a generic little bit of everything color that I'm doing. So it kind of matches, as you can see, my helmet. Um, it's a similar pattern. Obviously, there's more green uh, in the plate carrier itself than there is in the helmet because I got more browns in this one versus more green in that one. But same general idea and it kind of blends in with everything so if it's cold weather outside and everything's dead you still get your browns um, if everything's alive and it's in spring or summer it's still green enough where it blends in let me kind of show you just kind of what, what i mean by that so here is just a i don't know what color this is more of a coyote brown so it blends in kind of with it but if you hold this up against it, it turns more green here's some multicam stuff you put that up against it you see it blends in kind of well enough with it it looks more green though because bumper cam is more brown than green and obviously here's a mag pull gen 3 p mag looks more green but you can still see some tans and here is a od green this is a black hawk uh, radio pouch you can see more brown comes out whenever you put green stuff against it i'll show you what i mean right there so there's just a green and if you look at it compared to this the blade carrier looks brown or almost tan. So depending on what you have around you is kind of what color it looks to your eye, which means kind of like the color gray, it blends into everything decently, which again is the point, kind of a multi-cam is kind of a one one camo pattern for everything kind of dealio. Um, obviously, <laughs> next to black, you know, it looks just like it does. Um, so this plate carrier was originally black. Um, obviously, you see at the beginning of the video, start off with the black plate carrier. It's black on the inside. This is my old Condor one that I had. And I had no reason for it to be black anymore. I didn't have a purpose for it to stay black. So I figured, ah, might as well spray paint it, see how it turns out. Um, I ended up using probably about two spray paint cans worth total for, for this. So I used one full can for the base coat and then, you know, a couple different cans for all the different other colors, but I only use maybe about a quarter of each of those other three cans. So, you know, average out probably about two spray paint cans worth. Now this isn't gonna be the most durable stuff. It's gonna wear off over time. That's fine, just spray paint again, not a big deal. Um, one thing too, if you mess up and you get it on say the Velcro, like right here, which I did, you can see on there, and I use paper towels, so there's little paper towel flakes all over the place. Um, Use rubbing alcohol, put it on a paper towel, or if you don't want to get little fuzz balls all over the place, like I did, use a regular towel that you don't care about or that your wife doesn't care for you to ruin, and just use a rubbing alcohol to rub off any paint that's on the Velcro so it sticks. Because obviously you don't want it to get all over the place and not have your Velcro sticking. Same thing for up here. Now granted, I don't use patches or any, anything on serious gear. Now if you want cool boy patches on there, sure, you can still stick them on there. Just know that this paint's gonna cover up the Velcro zone where it doesn't stick as well. Same thing for the helmet. Like it's still sticky, but it's not as sticky as it was. Obviously this still sticks just fine, but whatever area you wanna use of the Velcro, I would advise getting rubbing alcohol, kinda of clear off that area, then put the patch there. Again, you can always spray paint over it. And here's another FDE belt, just so you can kinda of see this true spec belt. But so you can kind of see, and obviously you can do any paint color scheme you wanted or pattern you want. You could take some foliage if you want to, you know, put it on there and use that, you know, kind of as a pattern to blend in a little bit better. Um, I don't think it really matters all that much. Uh, at a distance, no one's going to see the individual patterns. Your goal is just to break up the human silhouette. So again, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. And I'll probably use this as just like a backup carrier. Maybe I'll use it as a winter carrier. I haven't decided yet, but it, or use it as a handoff to somebody else carrier since I have extra plates over there and I can just set it up to just kind of just give it to somebody else that needs it kind of deal. And just one thing also to know that this thing is going to smell like spray paint for a while. So you want to air it out for a couple weeks to get rid of that spray paint smell. After a couple weeks, it'll go away and it won't smell like spray paint anymore, but just know it's going to be a little rank for a little while, but Again, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. This is just kind of a proof of concept showing that you could spray paint a plate carrier that's one solid color, a completely different color. Obviously, if you had like a, 
a flat dark earth or a coyote brown or an OD green or something plate carrier, you just want to kind of give it a little bit of texture or a little bit of camo pattern. You could do something similar to this if you want to. Um, but if it starts off with one color, that would be your base coat. But since it was black, I had to give it a base coat. So there's a lot more paint on here than you would have to for, say, pretty much any other color out there because you had to cover up the black. Um, so it is a little bit, it's not as flexible as it was. Now, granted, over time, it'll flex just fine. It'll bend just fine. But it's a little stiff right now, obviously, because there's paint all over it. But again, uh, if you like this kind of content, I just thought you guys would find this useful. Uh, I've been working on it over the past week, spray painting a little bit each day because it's not daylight for a whole lot after I get off work. So I've only been able to work on it for, you know, 30 minutes and then I got to let it dry and there's not enough daylight at that point to finish it. So hopefully <laughs> you guys got something out of this. So anyways, have a good one.